Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is not my original intro. I had a full nice intro with the Jeep in the background with all the steering components, but I was going through my SD card and somehow I deleted it. So anyway, welcome back to the channel. We're working on the Jeep today, obviously, by the title. We get new steering components from Rough Stuff Specialties. Very great company to work with. Very nice, very professional. Their kit is amazing to use. I absolutely love it. We got that, some five point harnesses on the Jeep, just all around safety stuff, just updates on the Jeep. Check it out. So starting out with the kit, it comes with four Heim joints. You get uh, two right-handed thread, two left-handed thread. So that way you can just grab the bar and uh, adjust your toe and all that type of stuff. You get misalignment spacers for the, uh, the drag bar. So you get, these are the two top ones, these are the two bottom ones. And then your tie rods get their own misalignment spacers. These make your hind joints that are seven eighths. They press in, uh, not hard. They they press in pretty decent. I say that, but they uh, they go in, and they make the seven eighths turn into three quarter. So then you have to go buy your own three quarter inch bolts. They don't come with the bolts because everybody's application is different. So uh, this kit is kind of universal, but it comes with. Uh, everything you see here besides these bolts you can go buy those separately graded bolts are they're kind of spending but they're not too bad um, but anyway you always want to use some anics on everything so when you're out on the trail it moves around a lot easier but i'm going to go ahead and get to work pulling the wheels and tires off this thing and getting the old uh, tie rod and that bar off and just getting everything taken off so that we can get this put on correctly Got the tires off, we're gonna go ahead and get the tie rods off, pitman arm, drag bar, get all that off so we can start getting ready to take some measurements for the new stuff. go ahead and measure for toe you want to measure the front and the back I got angle iron on the disc brakes that way it is completely straight and we know what we're measuring Alrighty, so we took the measurements that we wanted. We got it cut down to specified length. You kind of want to measure the Jeep kind of like, uh, you want to throw the tape measure on the front of the angle iron that we had and the back, and you want to get those until your toe is completely correct, front and back. Um, so we did that, and then we measured from the center of the hole to the center of the hole in the spindle, and this is what we came up with. So you do that. You kind of want to grind uh, the edges of these bars right here. Kind of put a nice little bevel on it, that way you get a nice weld in there. You don't want to just weld on the top. These, uh, the, the hind joint nuts already come beveled for you. So, as long as you get a nice little weld on there, that's, that's pretty much what, what you want to do. And Chris got these pretty much right where we want them. So, good to go, I think. We're gonna go ahead and 
tack her up, throw her on the Jeep just to make sure everything's kosher, and then uh, you're good to go. Right here is a very important time, right? When you're gonna get ready to weld this, make sure that you're welding a right hand thread and a left hand thread. Doesn't matter what side they're on, but if you do two right hand threads, you're never gonna be able to adjust your toe, and that's gonna suck. So don't do that. Make sure you get a right hand thread and a left hand thread. So all you gotta do, grab this bar, twist this bar back and forth so you can open up your toe or close your toe. That'd be bad over this, right? We're gonna go ahead and draw these spindles so they can fit our three quarter inch bolt. I'm gonna taper it right now and we're gonna get it straight through. Same thing with the spindle. Damn it. Come on, get through that. The old devil. I got this nice and easy. Devil. Well, that was easy. So when I built that bar, I measured toe, but I had to unscrew the heim joints 
in order to weld correctly. So now I'm going back and I'm going to reset the toe. about perfect right there. Not about, that, that's perfect. Dead nuts. We're gonna go ahead and lock these lock nuts down and we're centered. So my next thing is I need to build a bracket from the spindle over to here. Yeah. If you look, this is a lot of uh, pressure right here. So uh, I'm going to build a bracket. I'm going to weld it on right here, bring it out right here, and uh, just kind of help support that bar. Alrighty, as you can see, my beautiful drawing skills right here. I got a uh, nice little rough draft of what I want to uh, cut out. So I got this bracket built. I like it. I got the metal all uh, cleaned up on the spindle. And uh, we're going to zap her on. That should have plenty of uh, stability to it. A lot of people would just buy different spindles, but we're a little budget over here. So we're just going to do this and it'll add enough strength. Hey, right, Chris? Came from the factory. That's right. Who carry a spiral? Alrighty, she's all painted up. And she looks good. That should definitely help out with the support of the with the force right here because it before it wanted to kind of go like this. So that extra brace in there, she's really happy. What do you think, Chris? Yep. Stiffening stuff up. Oh yeah. Everybody wishes their drag arm angle could be that good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. I think that's as good as it gets, Chris. Yep. We're ready for Moab. We're going to go back. Yep. I don't know when, but we're going back. Right. Alrighty. So, we got the hitch on the front of it. Through the, that thing, we got this for some extra security. But, we're going to go get Chris's car. Yep. We're going to do some transmission stuff to it. Right. Go for it. Go for it. 
dashboard. So this is what dad designed this thing for and that's what we're using it for. Super excited to be able to use the Jeep after we got all the steering components done. Super exciting. So I'm gonna pull this out of the yard since I can't really drive back here anymore. So we're putting in a harness, what do you call that? A harness? Harness bar. bar? Harness bar. So that we can uh, put this back and then mount the five point. Cause right now all we have is uh, lap belts and that's kind of sketchy for what we've been doing. So uh, me and Chris notched this bad girl. Got her well in here and well in on that side. But like, I, I don't know about Chris, but I'm excited to have harnesses. At least safety wise, I'm I'm happy to have horses. Definitely roll over. I think only modification I've done to this thing is safety related. I mean, steering, harnesses, uh, seat relocation. We're all about safety. All about safety. We're having fun. But uh, yeah. Got the new five point with cam lock. Huge thanks goes to uh, Aaron Schaefer. I mean, I bought him from him, but he gave me a good deal on him. Whoa. But uh, yeah, we got two sets of these things. So finally have matching belts, because before they weren't matching. And uh, five point. Probably won't use this guy right here just for the uh, the old protection of the you know what. But uh, we're good. She's hot, but she ain't hot. All right. So that's the belts, we got the belts on. And now, I'm building this piece right here. I'm gonna throw a little notch in there. But that will keep the belts in from sliding around because already just messing around there, sliding around. So I'm gonna throw that in there and that'll keep the belts where they need to be. And uh, yeah. All righty, we got all the harnesses in. All right, Chris, he's, right. All, he's all in. Uh, we even have this belt down there. So we're full on five point. I was only gonna do four, but the bottom belt doesn't come out. So crotch belt, it's a must, I guess. So probably for the best anyway. But uh, got this bar welded in, the harness bar. We did these little tabs so the belts don't scoot around on us. Um, walk up here to the front. Recap, steering finished. You can tell we've even driven around a little bit. We got the extra spindle support. Um, both steering bars are finished. Drag arm, regular tie rod bar. Bunch of, bunch of help. Chris also did the master cylinder. So now we're good on brakes. Uh, anything else, Chris? Is that it? I think that's it. That's it, I think. Oh yeah, and the exhaust. The, the exhaust, I'm sure you guys saw in the videos were broken. So we... Uh, Rewelded that up on the hanger. So that's it for the Jeep for right now. So we're all finished up. Thanks for watching guys. We got a lot of stuff done on the Jeep. Big thanks to Chris for, uh, for helping out. Uh, I'm super excited to have a bunch of safety stuff done. We got the steering finished. We got the harnesses in and we fixed the exhaust on this episode. We're going to be working on that thing getting some, uh, some, some stuff done. Let's, let's, show them, let's show them something real quick. Not too much, just, just a little peek. Oop. We're gonna be getting some stuff done on the street rod in the next couple days, hopefully this week, this weekend. But uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. See you next time.